All right, this is the grade 11, November 2015, past paper question on redox reactions. It says, oxidation numbers make it easier to determine whether an element or a substance is oxidized or reduced during a chemical reaction. Define the term oxidation with reference to oxidation numbers. Well, remember, this is where the reduction and um, oxidation terms come from. Here, the reduction is a reduction in oxidation numbers. So oxidation is an increase in oxidation numbers. So oxidation is the loss of electrons, but it is an increase in oxidation number. Now it says calculate the oxidation number of chromium in the dichromate ion. If you don't know, that is the dichromate ion. So if we look at this ion, the charge on the ion is minus 2. And for a polyatomic ion, the oxidation number is going to be equal to the charge on the ion, which is negative 2. So negative 2 is going to be equal to 2 times the oxidation number of the chromium plus 7, because there are 7 oxygen atoms there, 7 times the oxidation number on the oxygen. So we always use the oxygen to help us, okay? The oxygen is usually negative 2, except in the peroxide ion. So the 2 chromium, 7 times negative 2, is negative 14. By algebra, I'm going to bring it over the other side. It becomes plus 14, okay? So 2 chromium ions in here are going to be equal to negative 12, which means 1 chromium ion is going to be, where am I getting negative 12? It's positive 12. Minus 2 plus 14 is positive 12. So positive 12 divided by 2 gives me positive 6. So the oxidation number of chromium in the dichromate ion is plus 6. Now it says to you calculate the oxidation number of oxygen in H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. So you are supposed to know that this is negative 1 because it's one of the rules for oxidation numbers that you're supposed to learn. But if you don't know, you're going to use the hydrogen to help you. So H2O2, it's a compound, it's neutral, its um, oxidation number is going to be 0. So the 0 is going to be 2 times the oxidation number of the hydrogen plus 2 times the oxidation number of the oxygen. So hydrogen is always positive 1 unless it's in one of those other random things that we don't get very often, one of the hydrides. So by algebra, 2 plus 2 of the oxygens. So negative 2 equals 2 oxygens. So 1 oxygen equals negative 1. Don't confuse this with 0. It's an oxygen here. Yeah? Okay. So the oxidation number is negative 1. But you should actually know that because of your um, rules for learning assigning oxidation numbers. Now it says, consider the unbalanced equation below. Iron 2 plus plus chlorine gas goes to iron 3 plus in aqueous solution plus the chloride iron. Now it says, define the term reducing agent with reference to electron transfer. So the reducing agent is oxidized, okay, because of the way this topic works. The reducing agent is itself oxidized. So what is oxidation? Oxidation is loss. Remember I like to say oil rig red cat. Red cat is for next year. Oxidation is loss. Reduction is gain of electrons and reduction occurs at the cathode. So when it says define the term reducing agent with reference to electron transfer, it's to do with oxidation. The reducing agent loses electrons because it is oxidized. Okay, so to find the term reducing agent with reference to electron transfer, the reducing agent loses electrons. Now it says, from the above equation, write down the formula of the reducing agent. This is the thing that is oxidized. And the formula of the oxidizing agent, this is the thing that is reduced. So to do this, we have to go and have a look at the equation and assign everybody in the equation an oxidation number. So the oxidation number is 
the charge on the iron for the iron here. So it's plus 2 on the left-hand side and plus 3 on the right-hand side. So from plus 2 to plus 3 is an increase. Okay. And if we look at the chlorine here, it is an element. And on this side, it is going to negative 1. So from 0 to negative 1 is a decrease. Okay. So an increase in oxidation number is oxidation and a decrease in oxidation number is reduction okay and now it says what is the formula of the reducing agent and the reducing agent is the thing that has been oxidized so what was oxidized my iron to iron fe2 plus if you don't write the charge on the iron you are wrong. If they asked you for the name, this would be the iron 2 iron. The iron 2 iron is very different from iron itself, so it has to be Fe2+. Now it says, what is the formula of the oxidizing agent? The oxidizing agent is reduced. This is the other thing in the equation, the Cl2, the chlorine gas. Okay, so that is the formula of the oxidizing agent. Now it says, which is the reduction half reaction? So the reduction half reaction is the reaction where electrons are gained. So if we have a look here, which one is the reduction reaction? It's the chlorine one. Now if you can't write this by yourself out of your brain, you go to your table of standard redox potentials, which I hope you have with you, and you look over here. Here is this equation. This is a table of standard redox potentials. So the forward reaction is reduction. So the reduction reaction is going to be chlorine plus two electrons. And with a single arrow, it goes to two chloride ions. The oxidation reaction is going to be this one. Okay. But the oxidation reaction is going in the opposite direction. Remember the double arrow means this is a reversible reaction and can occur in either direction. So we're going to write this out. Re the reverse direction, Fe2 plus, goes to Fe3 plus plus an electron. So you can see reduction is gain of electrons. The chlorine gas gained two electrons and formed the chloride ions. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Fe2 plus went to Fe3 plus plus an electron. It lost that electron. So if we come back here, we can write the reduction half reaction from the table if we don't know it ourselves. Chlorine gas goes to two chlorides plus two. Where am I getting this here? What did I write? I'm writing nonsense. Chlorine plus two electrons goes to two chloride ions. Okay, make sure everything's got the charges. Make sure you write it with a single arrow. Make sure it is, in fact, the reduction reaction, which is the forward reaction from the other table. This one now is the reverse reaction from your table, Fe3 plus plus an electron. That's the reverse reaction, and it's a loss of electrons. So it is an oxidation half reaction. Now it says, what is the balanced net redox reaction? So to balance the reaction, we're going to take the two reactions we've just written, and we are going to focus on the electrons, and we are going to balance the electrons. So on this first reaction, I've got two electrons on the left-hand side. I need two electrons on the right-hand side, but I can't just multiply the electrons. I have to multiply the whole reaction so that I end up with everything being doubled. And then my net reaction is going to be the chlorine. And now because I've got electrons on the left and on the right, I'm going to ignore them. Plus two iron, two plus ions, going to two chloride ions, plus two Fe, three plus ions. And that is your balanced net redox reaction. It is net because we took out the electrons and anything else that might have been a spectator ion must not appear here. Make sure it has a single arrow. Make sure all your charges are correct. You should actually check what is the total charge on the left-hand side, plus 4. 
What is the total charge on the right-hand side? Minus 2 plus 6 plus 4. The charges are balanced left-hand side, right-hand side. The atoms are balanced left-hand side, right-hand side. But if you multiplied the electrons correctly, you will be perfectly fine.